Simple circle extrusions and insets like this to create these interesting greebles are quite common within hard surface modeling. And they're relatively easy and straightforward to set up, but there is a kind of formula you need to follow. So in this episode of Get Good at Blender, we're going to look at these circular greebles and go through what I believe is the best workflow and things to look out for. So let's take a look. So I'm in a new startup file. I'm in Blender 4.4.3 and I've got my screencast keys down the corner here in case you need to see what I'm doing. I'm going to select everything in my scene and press delete. So we've got a nice clean slate to start with and I'll press shift A. So that's the same as the add menu up here, mesh and then plane. So let's zoom in and create one of these greeble things. First of all, I'll go into edit mode with tab. So that's edit mode up here. I'll go to face mode and I'm going to inset. So that will bring in a new face in the middle here to around this point and then E to extrude it out. So this is a very low poly version of one of those sticky up greeble things. Now I'm going to go across to the modifiers, add modifier and start typing in sub for subdivision surface modifier. Add that and you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I'll bring up the levels to maybe four in this case. And let's go to edge mode with two. So that's edge mode up here and control B to bevel the end there. Use the wheel of my mouse to create an extra one and probably somewhere around here. You can hold down shift for smaller increments of movement there. And and probably around there looks good. I'll press Alt Z to go to X-ray mode so I can see my edge loop inside here. Alt left click on it and again Control B, hold down Shift and get it roughly the same size as the other one. So somewhere around there. And this is all looking great. So I'll tab back into object mode, Alt Z to go out of X-ray mode. That's X-ray mode up here in case you're wondering how to get there. And I've got this nice kind of sticky out greeble that looks more like a top hat at the moment though. If I go to top view, however, you can see that it's not quite circular. That's because if I go to edit mode, we've only got these lines kind of supporting our entire circle. So it kind of pushes out this smoothness in here and doesn't make it completely circular. The way of dealing with this is we need more loop cuts basically. So I'm going to do the same process, but this time with more cuts. So tab back into object mode. I'll press G then X to move that across and I'll bring in a plane in this position again. So shift A to add, mesh and then plane into edit mode with tab and I'll right click and subdivide. That splits it into four. So I've got my extra loop cuts there. Incidentally, if you need to add more subdivisions, you can go to your drop down here and increase the number of cuts if you need to. But I'll just work with one for now. That's all I need. So across to face mode and make sure my face are selected and again I to inset and bring that around the same distance as this one here. Now I need to make this into a circle. The best way to do that is with the loop tools add-on. So if I go up to edit and then preferences, you need to go to get extensions first, I think anyway, and type in loop and then make sure you've got loop tools there and press install. Once you've done that, it will be in your add-ons. If I go to add-ons and type in loop, you can see that I've got the loop tools add-on tick there. So it's enabled and this will save when I close down because I've got auto save preferences ticked and that's automatic. So I can close this down. And now when I right click, I've got the loop tools option at the top and I can choose circle and notice how it turns this into a circle. And now I can extrude it upwards and then do my bevel thing again. So two to go to edge mode, I'll alt left click to select my edge loop. It will stop at poles, which are vertices that don't have four edges going into them. So this isn't a pole, but this is. So the loop cut selection stops there. If I alt shift and left click all the way around, I can select that top edge loop like that and alt shift to select this bottom one and control B to bevel holding down shift. And I've got the same sort of width of bevel as I have over here into object mode. And instead of going across to the modifier, and adding the modifier this way, you can actually press control three and that will add a subdivision surface modifier with three levels. If I press control four, it would be four levels and so on. But I'll bring that down to three. I think this was, I don't know, in fact, this was four. And I'll leave that at four because this one was four as well. And we can compare the two. So let's go to top view and I'll bring this across slightly. So G then X. And you can see clearly now that kind of squared out shape, whereas this is nice and circular. We've also got a little bit more support around the edges here. If I select this one, jump into edit mode with tab, the support edges are these edges going across here and here, which this one doesn't have, hence why it's a bit squared off and more rounded at the edges here. So that's the principles of setting up those greebles. And we can take this further by going into edit mode. I can select these top faces here, I to inset, E to extrude, and maybe I to inset again, E to extrude. And we've got some interesting things going on there. 
And if I turn on my on cage option just here, I can actually go into edge mode, select these edge loops along here. And I've got to go around this one to select all these because of the poles. And then I can control B to bevel those. And you can see I've got this sort of interesting greeble and you can do all sorts of intricacies with that. Now I've done this on a flat surface, but it doesn't have to be. Let's uh, press G to grab and bring that across in the X once again and shift A to add mesh. And then let's choose a UV sphere. I'll keep the defaults of 32 and 16 for segments and rings. And let's just zoom in and choose some faces to do our greebles with. So into edit mode with tab, I'll select these faces here. Oh, I'll go to face mode and select these faces here. And then let's move in a bit more eye to inset and then right click loop tools circle. Now occasionally you can see the circles slightly distorted there. That's why it has this angle option and you can twist the angle just to get it lined up a little bit more like so. And I think that's about right. I can now E to extrude, bring that out. And once again, go to edge mode, select my edges, select the bottom edge there, control B to bevel, hold down shift for smaller increments and probably somewhere around there. Back into object mode, you can see that basic greeble start there. I'll press control three for subdivision surface modifier with three iterations and we've got our greeble. And again, I could add lots of detail like we can see there. Now it doesn't have to be exactly four faces. If I go into edit mode again, I can select nine faces. Oh, I didn't quite grab them. So I'll press control plus to grow my selection. That's a bit easier. And let's inset this into here. I'll right click, go to my loop tools, turn it into a circle. Oh, there's a big twist on this one. So let's bring it back to somewhere around here and then extrude it out to around there. Now, now one thing I forgot to say is that this isn't quite flat when it's extruded out. It's still got a bit of curve and you might want it to be completely flat. The same with this one here. It's got a little bit of a point there. So with those faces, is selected you can right click loop tools and go to flatten and that will flatten it out for us now if i go in and go to edge mode select these outer edges here and then press b to bevel it distorts the bevel very slightly because it's trying to bevel down this edge here and we kind of want it to go more into the middle so i'm going to undo that it's a good idea to go to face mode select this middle face and kind of even it out a little bit so i'll scale that down so it's a bit more even and we kind of want a distance of here that's the same as the distance from here roughly anyway it just creates a little bit of a cleaner bevel so back into edge mode select the edges around here I'll quickly go into wireframe, so Alt Z and Shift Alt left click on this edge loop going around there. And I'll come back out of wireframe at this point with Alt Z so we can see the bevel happening easier. So Control B to bevel and bring those in. Now it's not the cleanest of bevels at the top. You can see there's a little bit of pinching here and less pinching here. That's because this one is a pole. And to stop that from happening, we would actually have to go in, undo all those bevels and take these top faces. So I'll select this one, Control plus to grow that selection and inset it first. It creates an even distribution across here and then I can go to edge mode, select this edge, and then select this edge, and then control B to bevel and bring that out. And you can see that's a much cleaner cut there. So a few tips there as well about creating these greebles, but with more faces if you need to. So hopefully that's given you some insight into how we can create these interesting greebles that you can see here. If you've got any questions, then do comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.